And now in this uh, tutorial, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through your very first Java program. And uh, if you haven't guessed it already, it's going to be a Hello World program. And I'm going to do something. I'm going to start with the showing you how to use a Java command line. This is the old <laughs> ancient way of doing things, but um, a lot of instructors uh, these days still insist on starting you know people out or beginners out I guess with with command line I'm, I'm gonna do the exact same thing now before we get started the first step is you need to check that you have JRE the Java runtime environment and JDK Java development kit installed and here's how you check start run and go CMD if you're using if you're using Vista you go start and then down here at the very bottom you'll see uh, a text box and just type CMD in the text box and you'll get to the same area so type in Java minus version and then you should see um, it should tell you the uh, the Java version okay so if you see this information up here Java you, you know that you have Java runtime environment running now how do you check for uh, JDK? JDK is the, is the tool that you need to create Java programs, or in this case, compile them. And here's how you check. So what you want to do is in here you want to go CD dash and CD right to the root directory. So what I've done is I was in a directory called administrator document document setting, and I'm right back to the C directory. Now you want to go CD program files. And uh, in case you're wondering what we're doing, um, this is what operating system used to look like. Uh, what years? Uh, probably, probably about 15, 20 years ago. Uh, this is how we did things before. You know, before we had graphics and you know Windows or Mac OS X and that kind of stuff. It was all command line stuff. All right. So in program files, you want to go CD Java. CD change means change directory. And in Java you want to type dir list the contents of this directory or, or this folder and uh, in, uh, in in your Java folder you should see something called uh, you should have JDK here alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go CD JDK 1.6.0 underscore 11 so I want to change to this directory here JDK uh, 1.6 and all that. Make sure you type it out exactly the way it is. And when you do that, you should see that you've um, in this area here. You should see that you've uh, changed the directory to uh, your Java Development Kit directory. And here you're going. What you want to go? J A V A C, the Java compiler minus version and Sorry, I think I missed one. So go dir. You want to go to the bin folder. So cd b b i n, and you go j a v a c minus version, and uh, and it should tell and it should run it should run the version. So the j a v a c is a Java compiler. Okay, when you write source code, you need to compile it, and that translates it into something that. Uh, the computer can understand. So we're ready to um, start some. We're ready for Hello World and the first introduction into Java. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to use any kind of fancy tool. I'm not going to use Eclipse. I'm going to use something pretty lame. I'm going to use Notepad. So go to uh, find your Notepad here. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is. Um, well, let's start coding right away. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is, um, well, let's start coding right away. So I'm going to go public class, and my uh, class is hello world, uh, open bracket, and then uh, at the very end here, I'm going to close bracket and I'm gonna write myself a comment, and my comment is going to be end, dang, end class hello world the first lesson here is um, you should recognize this format this is you know very similar to what we've done so far 
except uh, I stick the word public in front of the word class, big deal. Here we have our class name. Uh, now in Java, uh, everything has to be a class, even even the main program itself. And it's really that simple. <laughs> everything is a class. Uh, you know, it's like technicality. So start bracket and bracket comment. That's all. That's all pretty uh, pretty usual. So what we're doing here is this is not this is actually the main program. We'll we'll see this in a second. So in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip a line in. And I'm going to go public. Okay, so public is a keyword. That means that uh, this class is available to basically any file or any one. And what I'm going to do is this. This is also a public function method, method or behavior. And this is going to um, also be visible by anything and anyone. So public static void. I'll explain very briefly what this means in a second. So my my function name is actually called main open curvy bracket capital S T R I N G don't forget the capital S this is uh this will cause a problem if if it's not open uh square bracket close square bracket and then args okay and then close bracket open squiggly line and then what I'm going to do is I'm go close quickly line, and this is the end of main method function behavior, whatever you want to call it. All right. So a quick explanation of what this is is uh, in ja Java is going to look for the main program. This is your main program. All right. You notice that the main program is actually structured as uh, you know as a function or a method of behavior. And uh, and within a class called Hello World, and this is just the way Java works. It, like I said, everything is a class, and even the main program is considered like a behavior or a function or a method within within your within your class. All right. So what what are these keywords here? Like I said, public means that um, this uh, you know this main program is available to basically anything and anybody that uses this uh, file. Static basically means that if we want, we can call this main program without having to declare an object. Something we haven't really done yet. Um, void basically means that this this main function does not return a value. Okay. So unlike uh, what we've done before, where uh, the language we use doesn't care if we return a value or not, uh, Java does and uh, so this does not return a value, does not return true, false, integer, character, nothing. So it's void. Okay. This is the f this is the function name main. And in here are the arguments. I'm not going to get into detail. Open open bracket and close bracket. So this was so this function is going to do one thing, and this is simply going to output hello world. So here's how you do it. Uh, here's the equivalent of print or echo or C out if you're using C. Um, here's what it looks like in Java. Capital S Y S system dot out dot print ln bracket open quote hello world close bracket semicolon. So uh Without getting into detail, this is basically uh, calling the print line function from a class. All right, this is the parameter we are passing on to this function or behavior or method. You'll recognize the semicolon at the very end, and that's it. Okay, now we need to save this program and we need to run it. Now, here's the other thing. Here's the other. Well, I call it uh, kind of a quirk in um, Java is that the file name, dang. The f oh, I guess that's okay. The file name, which is right now is untitled, has to be the same as the class name. Uh, case sensitive. Java is entirely case sensitive. So what I need to do is I need to go. I need to save it as hello world. Now, w w now where to save it is you need to go save save as. What I'm going to do is going to go to my computer. 
I'm going to go to C, Program Files, Java, JDK, Bin. So I'm going to save it right in that Bin folder that I, I, I told you before. And I'm going to save it as Hello World dot Java, All right? Um, all Java programs end in dot Java, and uh, like I said, the the file name has to match the class name. Okay, so there you go. So now in this uh, in this line here, uh, in this command line. What I want to do is I want to compile the program. All right. So uh, if you don't remember how to get to this command line, you can have to back up the video a little bit and uh, towards the beginning, to sh uh, it'll, it'll show you how to get there. So now here's a here's a brief explanation of what we're doing. What we're what I've what I've done here is that I wrote some code. Okay. Um, the thing is, a computer, uh, as you know, computers do things for us humans we're people um, now the language that computer understands is basically zeros or one but as humans we don't communicate very well with zeros and ones we need to communicate in an alpha numeric way letters and numbers all right so we communicate in letters and numbers the computer communicates in basically zeros and ones or binary at the very lowest level we can't communicate so a programming language is an interface or a translator if you will that allows us to give instructions to the computer because if a computer is going to do something for us well how's it going to know what it needs to do unless you give it instructions now if i can't speak binary then how's the computer going to understand the instructions i want to give it well that's what a programming language is, is going to do for us the programming language allows us to write our coding write our coding in an alphanumeric way that we can understand maybe not easily but we can understand it and then what we're going to do is we have to compile the program like such j-a-v-a-c hello world.java we're going to compile the program and when we compile it we convert it into a language that the computer can understand all right but we we won't be able to understand it the computer doesn't have a problem so when we compile it all right, it pauses for a bit, no errors, and it's compiling, and we're ready to run it. Okay, so we've compiled the program. Uh, the, the program has been translated into something that the computer can use. Now we can, now we need to run the program. And to run it, you go Java, not J-A-V-A-C, and you go Java, hello world. All right, and when you run this program, so just go to Java, hello world. When you run the program, there it is. There's your Hello World program. Okay, so that's uh, that's about as far as I want to go with this uh, with this tutorial. Is basically to show you um, how to use command line, um, how to do some really basic command line stuff. Um, now, from here, you could proceed on to the next uh, the next lesson. Or um, if you're really into this stuff and you really want to do, you really want to learn it, I, w I would actually spend maybe uh, one or a few more hours um, doing some command line stuff. Mind you, it's it's, it's boring as, I mean, it's just mind-numbingly boring, but um, if you can uh, if you can convince yourself to do it, um, there's tons of tutorials available, and like I said, it is kind of a good, it is kind of a good way to start, uh, start learning is to, um, you know, is to do some of this command line stuff. And uh, anyways, that's about it. And, uh, Alright, okay, bye.